One of the hardest parts about using social media to get more clients and grow your business is staying consistent long enough to see any results. See, everyone can create a couple videos and post for a few weeks straight, but can you keep that up for three months, six months, 12 months? All right, so in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to use ChatGPT to create a one year content calendar so you'll never have to worry about what to post or when to post ever again. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step in ChatGPT, but before we get started, as always, there's timestamps below because I know your time is super valuable. So let's get right into it. The first thing you need to know before we get into ChatGPT is you have to think about what topics do you actually wanna talk about? So I always say, think of three to five topics that you can speak endlessly on. You want at least one of these topics to be something that's semi-personal or personal to you. For example, if you like to go running, that may be something that you could speak on or let's say you like to do crocheting or traveling or you're a foodie. That is something personal to you that makes you different from other people. Posting business, business, business all the time is great, but it can be, it can get worn out pretty quickly. So having a topic in there that is not tied to anything that you do professionally is a great way to differentiate yourself and start attracting clients who also align with you personally. Because yes, we can get clients that need our help, but it's always best to work with people that you genuinely just enjoy being around. And if they happen to turn into clients, even better. So I would say think of three to five topics and write that down. That's step number one. Step number two, who's your target audience? Now, I hear a lot of times, especially with real estate agents, when you ask them, who do you want to help or who do you want to attract? They give you the Miss America answer, I call it. Like, I want to help everyone. And it sounds great. It makes you sound like you're an amazing person. But from a marketing standpoint, that is the worst thing that you can do. Because every person is different. Every person has different needs. Every one person has different problems they're struggling with. And so if you try to speak to everyone's pain point, everyone has different pain points. It's going to make it exponentially harder for you to actually get clients. Now, if you try to speak to everyone, you may get more mass appeal, but your content will resonate only at a surface level. So when you are guest specific on your target audience, yes, your overall views and engagement may be lower, but the quality of engagement is going to be so much higher. And it's not about having the most leads if none of them convert. It's about having quality leads. So think of who's your target audience, right? Who's the specific type of person that you want to help, that you want to attract? Think of this person and start writing down like some of their, like what are they struggling with? Right? Let's say you help, for example, I help people leverage AI and how specifically about marketing, right? So one thing I would do is what are their current struggles with social media? What are their current struggles with AI? What are their fears around AI and social media? Right? What are they currently doing? In an ideal world, what would they like to do, right? And what do they need to get them from where they are to where they want to be? Like, these are the questions I'm thinking through as I'm trying to figure out who my target audience would be, right? So as I said, think about what they're struggling with, what their pain points are, how you can solve those different pain points. And I just want you to brainstorm and write all of that stuff down. Now, another thing too, when it comes to writing your target audience, you often hear like demographics, right? Uh, age, gender, where they work, how much money they're making. But another cool thing to think about is psychographics. A lot of people don't ever get this deep. They only think about surface level stuff like demographics. When you think of the psychographic, it's more so like what's going on in their head, like what type of people are they? And understanding the psychographics, understanding what makes people tick is a great way for you to make your marketing more effective and convert at a higher rate. And one way to think about the psychographics, right? Think about what problems are they currently facing? What questions do they currently have? What are the results that they're looking for? And what are the roadblocks that are currently getting in their way? So take a few minutes, write that down, brain dump as much as you can. The next thing you might think about is what is the goal that you're trying to create? Is your goal with social media just to stay top of mind? Is it to increase your visibility online? Is it to just have testimonials and social proof? Is it to generate more leads, more, you know, book more appointments, whatever it is. Think of your goal. I think a lot of times people, when it comes to social media, they just start creating content because everyone in this day and age tells you you have to be on social media. You have to create videos. Instagram is where it's at. TikTok is where it's at. You have to be on YouTube. So we're almost as business owners, pretty much like peer pressured to be on social media. Now, not all of us want to be on social media. And so some of us do it just because we're told that we have to in order you know, to, for our business to grow or whatever. And we post content without any actual plan or strategy behind why we're doing it. So I would say, think of what do you actually want to use social media for? Is this going to be like one of your main lead generation um, tool vehicles? Or is this going to be something that supplements what you already got going on so that let's say you're prospecting and when people want to check you out, they can see like, hey, this is a real person. Look, they post some valuable stuff and then get a, and a hint as to what you do and kind of test you out from there. So I would say think of the goal 
that you want to use social media for, right? And then jot that down once you're done. And the last thing I want you to think about is what is your natural like conversation or writing style? Are you someone that's a little bit more formal? Are you someone that's a little bit more laid back? I'm pretty casual with how I speak. I use slang. You can hear it in my voice. I'm definitely not trying to code switch. You can tell just by how I speak. I'm very conversational, energetic. What else? I'm pretty goofy as well. Right? I don't try hard to sound super quote unquote professional and put together. I said I'm a lot more personable, a lot more conversational, a lot more laid back and casual, but also energetic. That's like my natural conversation style. So I would say, think about like, how do you normally speak? What's your normal writing style? Right? And then jot that down. And now the reason why I wanted you to, you know, think about your goals, think about the topics you want to talk about, your target audience, et cetera, et cetera, is because I actually have a prompt for you that goes directly alongside it. So what we're going to do is this first prompt right here, I'm just going to copy this. And this is actually in my AI starter kit. This starter kit has 10 of my top prompts and also top my top five AI tools. If you want it, the link is down below in the description. You guys can get it 100% for free. All you have to do is click the link in the description if you want the rest of the prompts. But we're going to copy this prompt right here. And then what we're going to do from here is we're going to go into ChatGPT. And once we're in ChatGPT, we're going to paste the prompt into it. And then wherever you see the brackets, you're just going to fill in whatever you wrote down. So topics, let's say for me, it's AI. So I'm going to talk about AI for business owners, social media, marketing strategies, and chat gpt tips slash tricks those are going to be my topics right then my target audience i want to say you know um small business owners and real estate agents right my content goal is to for social media specifically to generate more subscribers or kind of to, to build my email list to funnel social media traffic into my email subscriber list. That's my personal goal, right? And writing style, conversational, is casual, and I say informative, no BS, right? Whatever, right? And to the point. All right. And then the prompt here says, using the information above, create a one month marketing plan for insert your position. I'm a AI coach. AI coach specializing in uh, social media marketing, targeting my ideal client avatar, break it down week by week and list out specific days and times to post each video based on the best times to post for each day. Create one video per week and you can change this one video to two, three, four, depending on how much you want to do and include content ideas to post in between. All you're going to do is hit enter and then watch ChatGPT work its magic. Now, once it's done, we're going to post the second part of the prompt. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. Hit enter, and then ChatGPT is going to work its magic. Boom. Here we go. We have the date, social media post, engaging caption to go along with it, and then the optimal time to post for this day. And so here's the beauty of this, right? A lot of times we get stuck with the not having any ideas of what to talk about. Well, here we can build off of these ideas, or this can inspire us to come up with other ideas that we would have never thought of. And ChatGPT, as you can see, literally once you copy and paste the prompt, we already did all the heavy lifting in the beginning when you were brain dumping. So from there, all you have to do is just fill in the brackets and let ChatGPT work its magic. The prompt is already created for you. All you have to do is copy and paste. Now we can say something like this. Now create the content calendar for the month of September 2024. And just like that, it's going to start creating it for this upcoming month. And it gives me the days here. So this is how easy it is. Now, every time you need content ideas, all you have to do is go back into ChatGPT. Here's a cool little bonus tip, right? Here on the left-hand side, you'll see the conversation. If you click on these three little dots right here where it says options, click on that, click rename, and then you can name it something like content calendar. And now anytime you need content ideas, all you have to do is go back in here, click on content calendars, and then just say what month you need it for. And just like that, ChatGPT will start coming up with content ideas for you. And if you just keep on doing this, literally within five to 10 minutes, you can have the whole next 12 months 
list it out for you. So that's the power of ChatGPT, as I said. It's so easy to come up with content ideas when you just know how to use a tool properly. And the prompt that I use for this specifically is in the AI starter kit. So all you have to do is click the link below in the description to get your starter kit. And then you can just copy and paste and follow along exactly like I did in this video. And if you're brand new to using ChatGPT, I actually posted a full walkthrough video that you can go watch right now. I walked through step-by-step -step how to set up your free account. And if you're interested in learning how to leverage AI to save you more time, energy, and money, and you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you click the link in the description. We'll hop on a Zoom call, get to know each other, and see if it's a good fit. That's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.